Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Seas. It's been a while, I've moved house. I'm kind of in a temporary office right now so if things sound really strange, that would be why. But in the last episode, I believe we carried on with the sigil ridden navigator and we became a cannibal, if I remember correctly, and we've been told to go to Frostfound. But I've been informed that the much more interesting ending for this is if I try to raise my unaccountably peckish higher than it currently is. I think it needs to be three. And I have two who have the cannibal taint. So, I think I was told Geiger's Morn, or Geider's Morn, and I don't remember the other place. <laughs> oh no. So let's, let's head off in that direction. And we'll see how it goes. Let's see if I can remember what the controls are. It has been a monstrously large amount of time since I last played this game. Uh, Frostfound. We want to go there. We want to go to Geiger's Morn, which is all the way down here. Okay. Well, at least we have a fast ship at the bare minimum. It is also really bloody hot right now, so I'm going to be moaning about how hot it is in this in this room. But the room that I'm currently in is considerably smaller than my previous office, and it gets hot quicker. And we're also in the middle of a heat wave in the UK, so pretty bad, not gonna lie. But it is good to be recording things again. It's been very strange not recording things. And uh, I have missed playing Sunless Seas. How much fuel do I have? 11. Okay, I think we're, in terms of like supplies, I'm not completely buggered. I'd be in trouble if I hadn't planned that out, but. Uh, Oh, I've got my light on. I'm trying to uncover this big black blob in the middle of my map. It's been there for literally hundreds of ep well, like a hundred episodes now. Only fair that we get rid of it. Okay. I was kind of expecting some nasty things to show up. I must be lucky. I kind of forgot just how fast this ship goes. An electric shiver to the air. Storm is watching the Zalus. I hope not. Do I have the storm watching me? I know I have one of the... One of the, the gods of the Z watching over me. I don't know which one, though. What did I use that up when I did the Port Cecil quest? Hmm. Uh, from what I understand, this particular thing only shows up on a, on a percentage chance, and I don't know what the percentage chance is. So... Hopefully it's there straight away. Maybe lucky. Lucky. Here comes the luck. I think it's Explore the Morn. There's a surprising quantity of actual landscape. It's vertical, admittedly, but once you find the, be the beast paths and urchin roads, you can transverse it as you would a rocky moor, with an additional throat full of lurching terror. Uh, it doesn't look like it's here. Hmm. I don't know if I could... Oops. I think I have to, if I re-roll this, I have to... Oh, I can drop off the shady sort while I'm here. She inhales the air and smiles, perhaps for the first time. As I remember it, she remarks, less mud, more rum. 820 echoes, never say no. I would gather intelligence, but it normally ends up with people being stabbed. Okay, so we ne I need to get my... Something awaits back again. I guess I could literally just sit in the port. Save on the fuel. We do have slightly limiting uh, food. Can I buy food here at the Tiger's Mall? I can, but it's really bloody expensive. <laughs> Good lord. I can sell a firkin of red honey for 625 echoes here. That seems No, it's it's better in the it's better in hell, isn't it? It's better in the brass embassy. They pay me more money than that. Of course they do. Right. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. And and hope that we can get something away and try again. I wish I could remember the other place that I was told I could go. If I look at the map, was it Wither? I 
think it may very well be with her. That's quite far away. So I'm going to give this one more try, and if that doesn't work, we'll go to Wither. And there it is. Okay, let's see. Let's explore the morn again. I don't see anything. I don't see anything that has the unaccountably peckish on it, so... Maybe it is a super rare thing. Hmm... From up here, your future looks glorious, if not exactly bright. We lost two tower. Okay, well, let's go up to Wither then, I guess. To Wither. My terror is a little high right now. I'm going to go to London. I am going to go to London, I think, and reset my terror. Right, I'm going to leave my light on. We will resupply in London for this this trek. This was supposed to be the easy part of the plan. I'm a little... Uh, <laughs> I was really hoping it was just going to turn up and be like, there's the option. But I guess turning up to a port and being like, where can I eat the human? Not something that they're really used to experiencing. Even if it is Geiger's Morn. And we all know all the crazy stuff happens in Geiger's Morn. Okay, Terra's at 42. Labyrinth of Eel. Full of crabs. I feel like that's false advertising. Just saying. I know it's the Z and all, but when you say you're going to give me eels and you give me crabs. Oh, it's come back again. How far away is Geiger's born? Yeah, quite far. <laughs> I was like, should I? Should I go back? Could I go back? Right, we can turn off the light here. 42. I could, lo I could lower my terror here at the light ship. There we go, I've lost 5 terror. Just, you know, knocks it down a little bit. Means it'll be lower when I go to lo lower it in London itself. London proper. We'll just dock in here. Hey, perfect. 38 terror. Almost like I've done this a hundred times. Alright, let's hope I don't have anything illegal on board. Ah, once more we find ourselves here on the quayside of what I suppose is, you might say, is the lip of the well of opportunities. Yeah, alright. Uh, da, 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 from Polythreme. Okay, I, I better remember that or I'm going to be in trouble. Go to my lodging, spend some time with my family. My lodgings, read the paper so I can get some recent news, get some free supplies. Do I need to rest? Am I hurt? I don't think I'm hurt. You know, for the sake of it, I will. Okay, then we go to the shops and buy ourselves copiously large amounts of fuel. I've got a funny feeling. What, am, what is in my hold right now? Absolutely buttloads of Cintelact. Okay, forgot about that. Not gonna lie. Probably something I can turn that into. The sheer fact that you can turn it into terribly expensive tea makes me quite quite happy though. Let me make sure I buy some supplies on me as well. Okay, all right, I feel like we are substantially better off now. I could repair my ship. It is looking a bit beat up, but I am also incredibly lazy when it comes to that. So let's just go up to Wither and hope that Wither is the place. It's either Wither or Codex. I feel like it is one of those two places because in my head I was like, I haven't been to either of those places in a very, very long time. Failing that, it'll be back to the morn. And I guess I could, at least I could go to Polythreme at the same time and uh, pick up the souls for the blind bruiser. None of this is advancing the story in the direction I wanted it to go. Oh, we must be getting close to weather. There are life bugs everywhere. There we are, the snowy north. It's been a while since we've been up here. 
in this particular corner. Hopefully this option is uh, blatantly obvious as well, otherwise I'm going to be very confused. Which obviously is not... Oh god, blood blimey, I almost took off half the ship. Where do you reckon it would be? With a... Hmm... Explore the town, maybe? Wither is a quiet, chilly town of grey stone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have an irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, they are odd sights tucked away. Anything to do with unaccountably pickish? No. Riddles are for children, goodbye. The house of question, maybe? Oh god. Maybe it wasn't with her. I'm seeing nothing here that would lead me to think that it is in fact this place. I'll pay for the shore leave just in case. Gather intelligence maybe? Uh, yeah, that's, that's the question. Okay, well let's pay for shore leave. It's probably really expensive and doesn't achieve anything, but let's make sure. No, okay. Maybe it's not with her. I guess we go back to the morn. Oh dear. Oh dear, what a pain. What a pain. I'll work this out eventually, don't worry. Now I'm on my way to the morn, I'm wondering if I could just go back to the Chapel of Lights and increase it there. Would that not be the most logical place to increase my unaccountably package? And it's like right there. I am gonna try that out. I've changed my mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna divert. All I know is I need to get it to three. That's all I know. And it's knowing my luck, this isn't going to work. But I feel it's worth a go. Oh, fuck. Bloody fuck. I'm just going to cut straight through it. Screw it. It'll be fine. Oh. Oh, gods. Ow, you bastard. Did you survive with one HP? Oh god, now we're stuck in the fog. This may in fact have been a terrible idea. Ooh, three supplies, I take it back, that was a wonderful idea. Look at all that free money, right. I'm going past Frostbound, I could just go to Frostbound. It's right there. go to the chapel license. I don't know when I'm going to need it. That's the problem. Because obviously I don't actually know this story. I was just told, make sure you have unaccountably peckish three to make this the most interesting end for this story. Like at some point, when's that going to happen? Is that going to happen in the story? I mean, that's a distinct possibility that that might just happen. Hmm. I guess if it was going to happen though, I wouldn't have been told to go places to raise it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll work it out. It'll be fine. Let's go back to the Chapel of Lights. See if we can trade another one of our poor sailors. Here we are, the Chapel of Lights. Ironic name for a Chapel of Cannibals. Oh my god, it's Mount Nomad. Excuse me while I just avoid that. Okay. Can I eat of the chapel's bounty? Give a nightmare to the well. This will reduce your nightmare strength, but also scar you permanently and increase your wounds by one. No. Maybe just eat of the chapel's bounty. Hmm. Maybe that didn't work. <laughs> Can you tell? I've got no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I guess I guess the morn is the only option that I can repeat and hope for the best. Or I could just go for Frostbound and... How much health does Mount Nomad have? A thousand? Do you reckon I could kill Mount Nomad with just my guns that I have right now? There is only one way to find out. Let's see if this does any damage. I mean... Uh oh. 
Bad timing for a recurred nightmare. Uh, I mean, admittedly, we have a 100% chance to reduce it, so... Awesome. I mean, I reckon I could actually kill Mount Nomad if I tried hard enough here. But is it... Do I care enough? Should I? That's the other question. Okay, maybe not. Ow. Okay, no, no, no. It's fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ow. Okay. Okay, dokie. I made a terrible mistake. I made a terrible, terrible mistake. Run away. Run the hell away. No time for you. Goodbye. Uh oh. I believe I've been shot. Oh god, you missed. <sighs> okay, note to self. Gonna find Mount Nomad. Make sure you have bigger guns. Admittedly, I think I probably could have survived that if I... No, I don't know. I lost a lot of health. Good lord. <laughs> maybe, maybe if I use the Sintelact more, more impressively and... was really careful. I don't think it's worth the risk, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I don't know what the reward is for that, but... Right now, right now, I'm on another mission. I'm also running out of bloody fuel again. God damn it. Reduce that terror that's built up to mad levels. What happens when you watch half your ship disappear? When you're fighting a bloody mountain that's alive. So far, I've achieved absolutely nothing this episode. In fact, I've officially, I think I am now back where I started. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I'm going to have to buy some incre incredibly expensive fuel here at Geiger's Mon, aren't I? Uh, let's just buy a few kegs of it. I see nothing here about... Unaccountably peckish. I don't know how rare it is. All right. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to sit here. I'm just going to sit here. Right. I'm going to cut all this out. So, I'll come back in a bit. Uh oh, I went to explore the morn, and now I'm, I'm having a uh, problem with corsairs. Fights on the morn have a staccato quality. A careless lunge will send you plummeting to your doom. So wait and choose your moment carefully. But we're gonna fight. We, we are good at fighting. You smash a wiry villain to the ground, trip over an incoming blade, leap to a neighboring perch and send its occupant down the long, long way to the waters below. Your shipmates dispatch the other two with well-flung rocks. The others flee, leaving one corpse for you to loot. Well, it's the law of the sea. Uh, I think that may have used up my thing, but what I, I've looked into this slightly more and I've realised what I'm looking for is the bloody food vendor. But there's a good chance that the food vendor has been in both of the times I've checked and I just didn't notice it. Because I didn't know that was what I was looking for. But now I know what I'm looking for. So, rinse and repeat. I guess. <laughs> Here it is. An intriguing smell. Who'll try, who'll buy, a street vendor turns skewers on a grill. The mixed scents are nothing like anything sold in London. We want this. Do you have anything more robust? The vendor winks and produces a usefully anonymous skewer of meat. Now satisfied, how rich and red. We've gained one iron. And we're at unaccountably peckish three. What a faff. <laughs> what a faff that was. Right, let's head uh, to, to Polythrame so I don't bloody forget about the... God damn it. No, I don't forget about the 
the blind bruiser and he stabs me. Can you imagine I did all of this and then I get stabbed by the blind bruiser? Ooh, the embarrassment. Okay then, I decided I'm just going to cut out the bit where I went to Polythrim and we're on our way to Frostfound. It should just be up here and hopefully we can find what we need for the sigil ridden navigator. I don't actually know what we're looking for in Frostfound. I just know we have to go there. And I'm upset if I actually have to go into Frostfound because I bloody hate this place. Lost found. Oh, thank God. Show the squatters your navigator's sigil. A plucky researcher recognizes it. I know it well. I can show you. But the way isn't easy. I'll not take anyone frail. You'll need ropes, crampons, skins, tents. And I'll want paying, of course. My bursary is wearing rather thin. Uh, let me just create that poor report first. Thanks. And yep. He didn't exaggerate. The ice is slick as an oiled mirror. You need pittons and spiked boots to navigate the slopes and the misplaced foot. Or send great chunks of it thundering into the thirsty sea. The air bites like a bound shark. Your face is numb, your fingers stiff, your throat raw. The climb takes you around a sheer white cliff, the waters below, swimming with shards of razored ice. At last, a frozen ledge, a vertical sheet of ice, rises before you, reflective as a conjurer's glass. Engraved upon it, twenty feet high, is the navigator's sigil. Impressive, isn't it? The researcher says, dropping his pack. It's one of... It's one of the old accords between Wither and Irem. It means almost never remembered. Your navigator approaches it warily. The sigil on his temple sparks with blue fire. He reaches out, his fingers touching those of his reflection in the ice. And his reflection lunges forward, whispering something in his ear. The navigator crumples into the snow. Oh, the plucky researcher says. Damn, we're going to have a devil of a time getting him back to the ship. You do, but you manage it. Back in your cozy cabin, you imbibe mulled rum. Will you ever be warm again? Oh, we gained a wound, oh no. We lost five supplies and one outlandish artifact. Uh, speak to your sigil ridden navigator to learn what he saw at Frostfound. Okay, let's let's speak to him. Oh, I need something of whites, huh? The ship's surgeon finds you. Okay, hang on, let me get something of whites. How many supplies did that use? That used five of our supplies. Okay, we can just wait here. Or we can go somewhere. I mean, where do we. <laughs> There's not really much point in going anywhere, is there? I don't really know where I'm going. We'll just we'll just wait here. <laughs> this episode is me just sitting waiting for something to wait. Good lord. This is gonna be a nightmare to edit. There's gonna be so many things for me to just cut out and be like, nope. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna record for like well over the amount of time. I'd normally make an episode for. I'm going to cut out all the bits where I was doing nothing and then the video is going to be like 10 minutes long. Hey, I can market it as a YouTube short. They're all a rage these days, apparently. Wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, we have nine food left. Okay. I think from what I was looking at earlier, it takes about one and a bit foodstuffs for it to actually get something away. So it shouldn't take too long. There it is. It's all dark so I don't end up losing stuff when I'm talking to somebody. Not sure if it works like that, but it's, you know. Okay. He's awake, my lady, and he's asking for you. The navigator has slept fitfully since he collapsed on the frost found ice. New purpose. His sigil has grown. It reaches down to his cheek now. 
the skin it marks is pitted and grey. Captain, the ice told me the sigil's reflection was its opposite, or inverse. It doesn't matter. We must go north, north and north and north to the avid horizon, to Void's approach. He struggles to rise. Where are my charts? My, my compass? My, my sounding line? Ah, oh, we're going to the avid horizon. Now, that, luckily, is around the corner. It's a good thing I didn't go, isn't it? Let us quickly go to the avid horizon. There's a lot of nasty creatures up by the avid horizon. I wonder if Mount Nomad will stay hurt after my little foray with Mount Nomad. I'm guessing he's going to reset his health bar. There is some fog here. Can I cut between it? No. Of course not. Oh look, the Chapel of Lights again. We're just going around in circles. Over and over and over. This whole episode has just been me going around in bloody circles. This is not the Avid Horizon. Uh oh. I was looking at it, I was going, this looks familiar, but where's the. Where's the port? No, oh, for God's sake. Let me out. I've done so much damage to my ship in this one episode. Okay. Here we are. What crazy weird thing could we possibly find here? We do that restless night to uh, lower our terror by one. We're at 37. Good lord, I need to go lower my terror again. The Avid Horizon. This is the end. Hmm. Yeah. Lead the sigil ridden navigator to a certain dock pillar. Scraps of paper, stiff with northern frost, are stuffed into its cracks. A message is carved into the wood. If you wish to return to London, if you seek the forgiveness of the Empress, if you will sacrifice all to make amends, record your name and crime. The navigator hunts through the slips of paper. They are a library of villains and villainy. Here are murderers, betrayals, treasons and perjuries. He stops, stares at one, pulls it free. This is mine, he says. I wrote this. It is a confession. Beneath, in more recent and less careful letters, he has added a note. You did not answer. If I cannot be forgiven, then I will forget. The Chapel of Lights will help me for a price. He laughs wildly. Twice. I paid them twice. Once to take my memories and once to guide me back to them. His laughter deepens to hysteria. Crew crewman, help you drag him back to your ship. Okay, let's talk to him aboard the ship again. Oh, that uses strategic information? Well, it's a good thing I had one of those. Let's, uh, let's speak to him again. Captain, may I speak with you? In private? His voice is dull. His sigil throbs red as embers in the neathy gloom. He hands you his confession, retrieved from Void's approach. Please read. Let's read the first page. To whom it may concern, I hereby record my full and honest confession in the hopes of absolution in Her ma Enduring Majesty's service. In May, my brother Richard and I took service on the Bonnie Swan. He, a bosun, I, as navigator. The captain, Swinburne, was a good man, but ambitious. When we reached King Eater's castle, our supplies were low, but we pressed on in the hopes of finding land. There was none. Our stores nearly depleted, we turned back, and here I committed the first 
of my crimes. I mistook my readings and set a bad course. For days, we steamed northwest, not west, into the empty dark. Our supplies ran out, and still no sign of port. Hunger set in, and terror. And what I pray was madness. Ravening, desperate, raving, we agreed to draw lots with the loser giving up life and flesh so the others could go on. The first of us to draw the short straw was the captain. The second was my brother. My dear, solemn, solid Richard. There were more after. Seven times we drew. Seven of our number went into the pot, and not a one of them quietly. Those of us who made it back to port swore never to speak of our crime. But one of us, someone with a keener conscience than I, confessed. I fled the noose to see again. I regret it all. I will do anything. Please. Here, he scribbled his later note, when the Admiralty failed to select him for absolution through service. You did not answer. If I cannot be forgiven, then I will forget. The Chapel of Lights will help me for a price. His eyes meet yours when you look up from the page. They are dull as old iron. I am done, my lady. I am done. I have one last thing to ask of you. What is your last request? The truth has broken him. He buries his face in his hands. Even if I could remember, I would not want to. But it is only a matter of time until this. He runs a finger over his sigil. Takes something I can't do without. Maybe I will forget how to breathe. Or which way is north? Perhaps we will strand us all at Z again, and it'll be oaths of silence and straws in the dark. Be rid of me, my lady. Put me ashore somewhere I can be forgotten. I think this... This is what I needed the unaccountably peckish three for. But let's see, ask him where he would like to disembark. Leave me on Codex, where my silence won't be questioned. Or the Empire of Hands, where no one will care. Let's go for the other option. Let's see what this is. It would be a release for him, of a sort. And it has a certain sanguine poetry. You describe a rite that you could conduct at King Eater's castle. Afterwards, he would forget his pain. He would even forget that he forgot. That part of him that suffers will be gone and whatever remains will serve you. He shudders. It is not forgiveness, he whispers, but perhaps it is justice. So we have to go to the King Eater's castle. But I do fear that uh, that's the other side of the map, so I do think I'll be doing that in the next episode. So... Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.